Okay, so I'm going to tie you to the um, gold-headed uh, nymph patterns, I suppose. Now, these are used to fish for the for the dolichon. Now, these were the original patterns that I was given last year to tie for a friend. And the same day of work well. So, that's the first one there. Okay. And... That's the that's the second one. Now I'm gonna tie two the, the both flies in this one video. So the thread that I'm gonna to use to tie the two flies is Ultra Thread and 70 in black by UTC. I'm just gonna come in and get the thread started behind the the bead. Now the hook that I'm using is a size 10 heavyweight bat fly hook and I've just accompanied that with the correct size of bead. Now the tail on both flies is a orange cock haggle. So I'm just going to take one of the, the bigger cock haggles from the top of the cape. And then I'll just stroke these back and take away all the rubbish. And then we just stroke these, get them to sit up straight from the stem. We need on a couple of pinches. And then start for these up to the hook. Much the now the length of the tails, much the length of the hook over the back, and then just come round, pinch and loop, and then a, a couple of turns going down the down the hook, and then I'll just come in and trim away these body ends of the hackle. Now there's flash in the tail of the two flies, and the flash is just micro. This is micro flash. An orange so I'm just gonna offer two strands down each side and then just come around with a pinch and loop and then a couple of turns to hold and then just come in and trim these the same length as that haggle favors now I'm just gonna moisten them because I'll get the next fly out of those two strands the rib on the fly is gold wire so this is just a small gold wire that I'm using and then I'm just gonna run the thread up Tying all this in and then just bring your thread back down you don't need to worry too much about the body at this stage it's going to be dubbed so any lumps and bumps will be hid on this first fly i'm going to use this is just hers ear stubbing that i put together with some uv so i'm just going to come in and just take a, a small pinch of this for the body then just dub it on the way you would any other type of dubbing. Just snag it on the thread, push it up, and then we can get it anchored, and then we can stretch it out if we wish. Right. Just bring it up the hook to there, okay. Then we'll just bring our thread in front, get a few turns in there. Now, at the collar or behind the, the bead, I'm just going to use some of this stuff. And this is just orange flash of boo dubbing. So, just put on a couple of pinches of this. Just want to brush some of this out. It may seem a lot, but when the dollar can start taking these flies, their, their teeth would rip, rip at the shreds. So, I've dubbed that on. And I think going forward, stroke it back. Uh, I want to bring the rib up over both the body and the orange fly shabu. You're going to about five turns of the gold wire to there. Ho holding your wire, just fly it across with your thread. One turn to hold, and then a couple of turns just to secure in the wire, and you can bend and break it away. Right, I'm just gonna, anything wants to go forward, I'm just going to stroke it back, get an oar, a few th turns of thread in there. Now, just before I whip finish off, just keeping my thread tight, I'm just going to come in with a wee like a super glue or varnish, whatever you prefer to use, onto the thread. And then I'm just going to come around with a couple of turns to get that bedded in, still keeping my thread tight. 
just come in with my whip finishing tool and just throw in a couple of whip finishes. We simple flies and just cut away your thread. I just come in, also come in with some Velcro. Just bring out some of the the orange. Now, that's the first wee fly. Okay, got the same setup here for the second one. So, let's get this into the vise. Get it sitting so you can see it. Happy with that. Just come back in with the thread again. Just same process. Just run your thread on. Remove away the waste tag of thread down till your threads in line with the barb. Come back in with your orange cock hackle again. Just give them a wee stroke. Now you're looking a couple of pinches of the cock hackle to form your tail. Same again. Length of the hook over the back. Pinch and loop it on. And then a couple of turns down the hook. And then just come in and trim away the body ends. Flash again, same flash. Orange micro flash. So lose this up. So just get this offered. Up onto the tail. A couple of turns. We'll hold that in position. We'll trim that at the same length. The rib on this fly is silver wire. I'm just going to tie that in the same length that I've cut the cock haggle fibres and then just simply run your thread up tying all these materials in don't need to be too fussy with these flies these are good flies to sort of way start off with to learn how to, to tie them now just bring the thread back down to the tail the dubbing on this fly is just going to be a, a black Irish traditional dubbing that's it there okay and then just simply knock the dubbing onto the thread always taking your dubbing the one way finger and thumb one way slide that up then we'll get it started and tighten up a wee bit short there so I'm going to come in with a Another wee drop, just a wee tiny pinch. Just dub it on, slide it up to there, and then going forward, you just stroke it back and get your thread in front. And we're going to put another collar of the fly shabu dubbing on in behind this. And the fly shabu dubbing that I'm using for this is the the red. So, same again, just knock a few pinches of this onto the thread. Best to put your dubbing on that I find just on small pinches rather than on one big clump. You're no rush. And then just bring your red fly shabu round. Now, just want to get that wee bit tightened up and do better than that. And just bring it round. And then it wants to go forward, just stroke it back. And just come in with a couple of nice tight turns to secure everything in. Same with the gold wire in the first fly. You got five turns of the silver wire up, right the whole way, right up to the back of the bead, keeping a hold of your wire. Just follow it across with your thread. A couple of turns will hold that in position, and then just bend and break away the wire. Same again, process. We like a super glue, want the fly to last. And then just come round a couple of turns of the thread with the super glue on it, keeping the thread tight. Just come in with your whip finishing tool, throw in a whip finish. Nice and tight. Put that tight and just trim away the thread. And then I'll just come in with my Velcro. Just bring out a wee bit of the red. Fly should be. Now, that's the two flies. And the way the guys face these for the Dalgan, 
they usually fetch them under a, an indicator. Now, I know there's some views out there about that method. Is it fetching? Is it not? Whatever. I'm not getting involved in that, but that, that's the two wee patterns that were given to me and the done well for a friend. Um, so look, give them a go and hopefully they can catch you a few fish.